Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the internet. This is Ren Dog coming at you from within the butthole of a Leviathan in this Let's Play StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm series. In the previous episode, we went down to the planet Calder um, and destroyed the Protoss forces on there, destroyed them quick enough so that they actually could not contact their home world for reinforcements. And in this episode, who knows what we're going to be doing, guys. We have captured a Protoss unit and I'm going to start a conversation with it. Let's see what it has to what tell us. What are you people doing here? We study this moon to see if its rotation can be altered, its climate improved. Do you understand? We are only colonists, and you are killing us. Yes, and if I let you live, you'll call your golden armada and they will kill me. Kill thousands to save yourself. Is that how you justify this? I justify nothing. There is no moral high ground here. Your people have killed billions of Zerg. We are all covered in blood. There may be more on my hands than yours, but in the end, we are both killers. Well said, Kerrigan. Stupid butthole Protoss. I'm gonna go kill some more of your freaking kind, man. <laughs> all right, guys, let's head into the evolution pit to see if there's anything we can do. Um, here's old Abatha. Um, uh, we, we can, looks like we can upgrade our roach. Let's see what upgrade we can apply to our roach. Adaptive plating gains three armor when roach's life is under 50%. That's not too bad. Hydraulic, hydriotic bile gains eight damage versus light, light units and increase of 50% and tunneling claws. Roaches can move at full speed while burrowed. Um, <clears throat> Um, that's pretty cool. I think I'm going to go with Tunneling Claws, actually. Maybe we can do some sweet stealth attacks up in this jazz. Um, of course, we can change our Zerglings when we want, but I'm, I'm kind of happy with the speed of my Zerglings. I think I'll keep that um, going. And it looks Nefash's like... brood lives again within the swarm. When the Protoss struck, she fell back to prepared positions in the ice valleys. The Protoss had to hunt her down. Okay, so we're still after she was this intelligent, traitorous, careful, and tenacious, freaking queen. But she made one mistake. She ran away. And now we are hunting her down like the freaking dog that she is, man. <laughs> All right, guys, let's the kick Protoss into the mission. still seek to warn Shakuris of our presence. They are preparing to send shuttles through their warp network to Shakuris. All right, so in this stage we get a Hydralisk. Which is probably my favorite unit in the entire game of StarCraft, in StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2. So I'm so freaking excited. I love Hydralis, man. They are amazing. They look amazing. They're just, they're just beautiful units. And you guys will see them if you've never seen them. Uh, this will be the first time that you see a Hydralis. Get ready, man. Hydralis are freaking sweet. Right. Range units are effective at focusing their attacks on a single target. Okay, so we've got to try and focus fire. Right, what the is going Protoss on up in here? The are preparing shuttles for launch. A warp conduit. I sense millions of Protoss mines on the other side. Shakuris! If a God. single shuttle passes through, they can alert Shakuris to our presence. Should we destroy it then? No, they would detect that. Our only choice is to stop their shuttles from reaching the conduit. Nafash's hydralisks. Abathur, assimilate their essence into the swarm. Look at the Hydralis, guys. Look Hydralis how awesome they look. Constituted can morph from larva. I need more Hydralisks to destroy these shuttles. Oh, man. I freaking love Hydralis, man. Have a look at those Hydralis. Okay, so we've got a base. This is going to be Control Group 4. Have a look at the Hydralis, guys. Look how beautiful they are, man. Oh, they are beautiful. I love them. I wish I could have a Hydralis pet. Um... Right, let's we borrow this more thing more over here. To destroy the enemy's flying units. All right, so what we need to first do, though, is make some drones. Because we need to get as much minerals and as much gas as possible, guys. We've been through this before in the previous episode. Remember, Out guys, we need to get as many resources over time as get possible. Going. The more resources we can get over time, of course, the more units we can build and My the bigger queen, army the we can make. The Protoss have launched a shuttle. It is en route to a warp conduit. Not if I have anything to say about it. We will bring down that shuttle. You can spawn more overlords to increase your supply. 
Okay, so these are spore crawlers, right? These are anti-air units. So we what we should do is place our spore, uh, our spore crawlers over here in the path creep. of the shuttles, right? So when that shuttle arrives, it's going to get its ass owned by our hydralisks, which can attack air, and these spore crawlers, which can attack air too. Our what roaches can't attack air, but they are there to defend what, uh, against any sort of land invasion that may arrive. So let's carry on trying to max out our workers, guys. We've got 11 out of 24 at the moment. Um, we'll keep focused on this part of the, the map for now. And um, I think what we'll do is make a queen. We require and waypoint her down here. Because she also attacks air. And she can make more of these, um, these creep tumors. So that we can add some more zerg juice to this land. Remember, the more zerg juice we have, the better. Um, there is the, the shuttle. We've got to take it down. Keridan! Keridan, cue it! Who asked you? Right, it looks like her kinetic blast really, man, took that shuttle out like nobody's business, man. Damn. Um, right, still making more drones. We've got 17 out of 24 drones now, which is great. And we're yes. waiting for our queen. There she is. We Lay some eggs, queen. Creep. It's actually really gross, man. Like, watching a queen lay an egg is actually really quite disgusting. Um, what was that? Oh my goodness, I thought this was... What is that? Do you see this animal over here, man? It's like a, an Engage antelope the hive or something. Directly. Our shuttles must break through. You will never leave this ball of ice. Never rest. All right, let's continue the growth of the Zerg My juice queen, across the land. The Protoss were gathering biological samples and storing them in these stasis chambers. We'll destroy the chambers and take the biomass if we can. Watch this, guys. <laughs> Man, it's, it's really disgusting. Really, really disgusting. All right, I'm going to... We're going to need some more overlords, it seems. So I'm going to make some more overlords, and I'm going to make a second hatchery so that we can start getting some more lava um, up in here, man. Control group 4, as always. And I'm going to waypoint control group 4 to Kerrigan for now so that what everything that comes out um, of there comes the to Protoss Kerrigan. The Protoss launched another shuttle. This one is accompanied by a fighter escort. You cannot stop us all, Kerrigan. Oh, wait. There's not much time. All right, so fighter escort is incoming. So that means the shuttle is going to be coming with some fighter um, planes of some kind. I think Kerrigan will focus down the shuttle. Um, oh, man, check their scouts from, Pro uh, from StarCraft 1. That is awesome. Um, right, what I wanted to do, right, is make some Zerglings and go and check out this location over here. Let's see if we can actually break in here with our Zerglings. Um, they'll be like a little strike force. I think what we're going to do is start making some more Hydralis, though. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so we're going to definitely need more than just a few Zerglings to break in here. So, I think what we're going to do is take our Roaches. Um, let's make a little army of Roaches, I think. Oh, oh, we haven't actually made... We don't have a Roach Warren, right? So, let's make a Roach Warren. Build Roach Warren. And it looks we like we have the advanced enemy in buildings combat. too. Okay, so that is to make um, high for this. Now, let's focus down. Kerrigan, what cue that thing, man. Bam. Man, that is awesome. Push it. Right. You have my attention. Great stuff. So, we've got our roaches. Let's make some more roaches. We're going to make a roach army as soon as this roach uh, warren pops up. I think what we do is, yes. I think we probably have enough units to now assault the this The Protoss are mobilizing an assault here. on our hive cluster. And now we have Press sort of attack. taken care of this area the swarm here. Never rests. Um, now, let's make a whole butt ton of roaches. Really there we go. We just made a whole butt ton of roaches. Um, Nothing's out with it. I think what we're going to do is make a couple more queens too. Oh, queens need Vespine gas too. So, we need to build another geyser over here. Oh my goodness, look at that. I didn't even... Oh god, there were idle drones. Oh, this is just... This is what just is embarrassing. There's not All much you StarCraft time. pros out there are just face Push ahead. so hard right now. Man. Let's uh, connect this up. Extend Zerg Juice. Alright, here are all of our roaches. So what we're going to do is leave Kerrigan and the Hydralisks over here to take care of the aerial threat. And I think... The Protoss have launched another shuttle. What we'll do is, is make some Zerglings an and some roaches location. to deal They're with bringing more warp this location online. over here. I sense two more activating. 
Yes. Okay, so this is going to be control the swarm group never one. Rests. Okay, we need to intercept right here. This makes more hydrolysis. You require more Vespine gas. This geyser should now be ready, so now we can start mining some more Vespine gas. We need Vespine gas to make hydrolysis, so let's not forget about getting Vespine gas. Our Roach and Zergling army are going to come and deal with this over here. And uh, Kerrigan and her hydrolysis. Out with it. No! Speak quickly. Go deal with this! And Kerrigan and the Hydralis and the Queen will be control group 1. The Zerglings and the Roaches will be control group 2. The Swarm Hungers. Okay, Hydralis, make many Hydralis! Good to have. Can use to improve Q Swarm. W! Speak quickly. Yes? Out with it. Alright, you have two. My Control group two roaches and zerglings come and take out these zealot butt bandits. And uh, yes. this is going to be control group one. We're going to make a whole ton of time for this now. And this army is just going to sort of swoop in here, release these hydrolysis. We're going to add that to control group what one. What is it now? Now, the control group one the swarm never rests. is going to sit at home taking Get care going. of the shuttles. And what I want to do is make like a strike force, right? Of roaches and zerglings. And the roaches and zerglings are going to go out and do their do the damage that they need. Um, so I think I, want, I think I want Kerrigan and friends to sit over here. Let's make a couple more eggs over here so we can extend the creep to the east. And I think what we need to do is, in fact, make a couple more queens so that we can get some healing action going on, man. Right, check. Our anti-air force is looking pretty good. These zerglings need to be added to control group two. And strike force, let's go and try to get to this location over here. Yes? Now, we might be in trouble if they're air units because none of uh, none of Strike Force 2 can actually deal with air units. But as you can see with our fast Zerglings, we can get around the flank, release some Zerg forces. Out with it. The Protoss are launching shuttles from a new base. Oh, that makes things a little more complicated. Right, so that scout, we can't actually deal with Another that Another chamber scout. destroyed. Um, what were the Protoss doing with all this biomass? Oh god. Okay, so control group two, needs, control group one, the anti-air group needs to come to this location to intercept the shuttle. Control group two, we are going to carry on looking for some um, stuff to attack. And it looks like we have found another base over here. An expansion, it looks like it. So let's get a drone over here. This hive oh, we don't even need now to. belongs to the swarm. Excellent. So control group four. Um, are all the hatcheries? Speak. Our forces are under attack. Let's make sure that this gets as many drones as it possibly can, as fast as possible. Overlord. Make as many overlords as possibly can. Minerals. No! Control group two, move this down. World is mine. Take out the air units. Cue the get shuttle. Going. Yes. All right, sweet. The swarm. You have my attention. All right, so let's just redo this. Out with it. These groups. So, um, Hydralisks, Queens, and Kerrigan. Speak control quickly. group one. Right. So get out of the way. Roaches, Zerglings. Control the group two. Is under attack. Control gr group two. Go and defend the hive cluster. Now we can saturate this base as fast as possible. Who asked you? Our forces are under attack. And it looks like what we need to do is just add a few more hydralis to control group one. So let's add another bunch of hydralis to um, control we group one. More and control group two looks like it's doing okay. I think we probably need a few more zerglings actually. And uh, okay, so there's another there's another thing over here. So our strike force is going to go and deal with that. Let's make a whole bunch of zerglings for our strike we force. Require more minerals. And our these are going into control group attack. one. Yes. All right, let's see what we got here, man. Let's see what we're working with. Let's extend the zerg juices. Out with it. Who asked you? Man, my, <laughs> my grouping is just, is just totally... Protoss are launching two sets of shuttles. Okay, 
So there's two sh there's bastard. two sets of shuttles coming now, right? So what we're gonna have to do is yes? split up control group one Nothing into two it. batches. Let's see. So Kerrigan. Okay, control group one is gonna take out this proton base. Right, so hydralisks. Out with it. Okay, so Hydralis, Queens, Kerrigan, Control Speak Group 1. Quickly. This goes to Control Group 2, Our attack. Under attack. You have my attention. So I think what we're going to have to do this is try and is snipe. Um, we're going to have to split up our anti-air army. Let's try and out snipe this shuttle as quickly as we can. What is it? Take out these no air units and now Our try and get Kerrigan attack. down here as fast as possible. Oh god! This is not good! There she is! Oh my goodness, that was freaking close, man. Dang, <laughs> that was close. Alright. More Hydralisks, I think. And our strike force needs to finish off um, its business up in here. Attack this thing. And Kerrigan and friends can now and um, come and deal with this little invasion over here. Oh goodness. Alright, let's make some giraffe turrets. Our forces are under attack. What the hell? Alright, control group two looks like it went all the way back for no reason. Um under attack. Okay, so <laughs> Our groups are just a complete mess, guys. So what I'm going to do is start again, right? That's the last Queens, stasis chamber. Kerrigan, we'll examine control group one. Consume. Right? Improve swarm. This over here is control group two. So Out one, two. One, two. Now, let's reinforce two with some roaches. And let's reinforce one with some hydralis. A lot of items. There we go. Done. The Protoss have launched more shuttles. One shuttle through the conduit, and you will feel the might of the Golden Armada. Oops, I added these guys to Control Group One. <laughs> so that is the that is the problem that um that I keep doing, right? So Control Group Two. Here we go. Okay, so guys. We have our strike force ready to strike something, something. And I think what we're going to do is come and strike this base over here. So, let's get control group 2 over here. The strike force group and Speak Kerrigan quickly. and her hydralis are going Who to deal. You? Look, there's actually a, an interception our location forces, right here. We'll, we will be able to hit both shuttles at the same time. Um, let's see, how is our strike force doing? Go, go, go! Forces, now, let's focus on dealing with the, these double shuttle attacks over here. Out with it. Nicely done. Very nicely done. There's not much time. Yes? Alright, let's have a look at our, our strike group doing pretty well over here. I'm happy with that. Make a few more drones over here. And I just built another evolution chamber so that we can start upgrading Who asked um, you? our armor. And we have an incoming attack. Alright, mineral field depleted. Let's move some of these drones across to our new base. Speak quickly. Die, Protoss Scourge! Man, I'm forgetting to, to lay my eggs. There's actually another base over here that we could go to, so why don't we do that, man? We'll take a drone up here and make another hatchback, just in case. Now, this looks like a really good location right over here, right in the center of the map, to, to gather both of our armies, our anti-air army and our strike force army. Um, because from this location, you can Mineral see there are um, bridges and roadways that go Mineral to all parts of the map. Defeated. So this seems like a really good location to actually set up um, a front line, right? So let's get our queens laying some eggs so that we can establish a front line here. Now, any shuttle, I think, is basically going to be coming over us or very close to over us in this location so that is good news now let's keep our anti-air army right here <clears throat> and let's move up with our strike force army i am sensing a protoss psionic matrix your forces are nearing the enemy's base 
The Protoss have launched more shuttles. Alright, so my hatcheries are now going to help um, spawn some more roaches. And it's back up, I think. Right, so, um, it looks like the shuttles are going to intersect right in this location of here. So, we'll keep you our anti air army here and our ground force army. And man, those shuttles are just going to get absolutely <laughs> melted the moment they arrive. Let's just keep making roaches um, and reinforcing our ground army. I think our anti-air army is, is good enough um, to withstand any shuttle attack, to be honest. Um, you know, Kerrigan also has... Oh god, there's a carrier over here! There's not much time on field. No, it's gonna sneak past! Take no prisoners. You'll regret that. Alright, sweet. Right, so where are our roaches, man? I'm sure we made a butt ton of roaches. Let's make some more. Let's just check that they haven't gone anywhere. Oh my goodness, what is that? Uh, we've got we've got a colossus and um, a couple of zealots attacking here, so that is rather sneaky, I must say. Um, so I'll send Strike Group One back to go and deal with that. And maybe what we'll do is actually use Kerrigan's Group to um, attack this Protoss location here in the west. Let's just get our eggs going. Right now. Because Hydra does deal a ridiculous amount of damage too. So. The swarm never rests. All right. So I think what we're going to do is is actually attack with both, right? Um, we'll attack with both the anti-air and the strike force strike force group, and that should allow us to smash through this Protoss base over here. So what I want to do is get the roaches in the front line. They're kind of like the, the, the meat shields of our army. The Protoss right? launched three shuttles at once. Okay, three shuttles. They're bearing toward the same conduit. The Protoss have launched a mothership. They must be using it to cloak shuttles. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is keep our strike force back. All forces, defend the central conduit. Tear their ships from the sky. We're going to have to deal with the shuttles before we can launch the full-on attack. So our first task is to deal with the shuttles. Take them down as fast as possible. Then we'll be able to move out with Strike Force 2 into the heart of the Protoss base. And uh, we will crush them for good. Right, we've got another shuttle over here. Nothing stands in my way. Take it down. And, oh my lord, we've got a mothership up in here, man. There's much time. Don't fight me. All right, excellent. Now we can launch our assault. Strike, here comes Strike Group 2. The roaches are on the way. That's oh, the we last. don't even need to do that. Sweet. The warp conduits are useless to them now. You've done it, my queen. The Protoss <laughs> awesome. threat is removed. Nothing is done. Until they are all dead. <laughs> Man, Kerrigan, you're so emo. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, we finished the stage um, without really even... Uh, I mean, I was going to, you know, I was going to try a, a different route to victory. I wanted to take out all of the Protoss, but guys, that was freaking sweet, man. Um, we got a new unit. We Kerrigan only killed five units. That sucks, man. But 140 enemy troops killed. We only got one achievement, which sucks. But that was a really sweet ass stage. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Let's see if there is a cutscene. And, oh man, this is... This game is just so awesome. I love the progression. I love how they, they slowly introduce the new units. The stages are interesting. I and feel quite, my know, queen's hatred burning like a star. Yes, because she's an emo man. But there is something underneath it I do not understand. She's been listening to typo it's negative. Pain, Isha. <laughs> Sometimes even my hatred can't shield me from memories. Raynal! Of an enemy who damaged you. Ah, oh, Raynal. No. Memories of better times. Of a friend. More than a friend. Lost. Oh God. The tears. You have grown <laughs> stronger, my queen. New abilities are available within your chamber. Awesome, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Man, that was fun. Um, th this is, has been Randog playing StarCraft 2, Heart of the Swarm. Guys, if you enjoyed it, smackly smack that like button. I cannot wait to see you in the next episode. This is Randog signing out from the butthole of a Leviathan. We'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, my friends.